Welcome to start here with quotes by Jefferson. Welcome to start here with quotes by Jefferson, a transformative journey into motivation, inspiration, and guidance. Dive into the wealth of wisdom curated from the works of Jefferson Otenbara Inbi, presented on our YouTube channel, Start Here with Jefferson. Our playlist is not just a collection of quotes, it's a dynamic resource designed to empower and elevate your daily life. Jefferson's insights, drawn from his books, publications, and blogs, offer diverse perspectives. It's more than a mere recitation of quotes, we take the extra step to dissect and explore the profound depths of each quote, revealing how it can be applied to navigate life's complexities. Our commitment to citing the quotes and thoroughly analyzing and explaining their significance distinguishes us. We provide a dual perspective, examining the positive aspects of the quote while also considering potential reversals, ensuring a comprehensive understanding. This unique approach goes beyond inspiration, it offers practical advice, breaking down the quotes to guide you in implementing them in various scenarios. Join us on this journey of self-discovery and empowerment. Let's explore the wisdom of Jefferson together, gaining insights that go beyond words to transform and enhance your life. This is not just a playlist, it's your guide to a renewed vigor in pursuing your goals. Start here, and let the wisdom of Jefferson be your compass on this extraordinary voyage. The Table of Content We present the Table of Contents for Start Here with quotes by Jefferson. Today's episode. In this subtitle we refer to the current installment or segment of the series where we announce the quote number. The inspirational quote by Jefferson O. Inby. This subtitle declares the quotation for the day by Jefferson O. Inby. The source of today's quote. The subtitle draws your attention to the source from which the quote for the day is extracted. It gives a summary of the source and you can get a copy of the source. Introduction. This is a brief introduction of the quote. It gives a general insight of what the quote will cover. The judgment. This subtitle focuses on exploring the potential limitations or criticisms of the quote. We consider whether the message of the quote is universal or whether it may be limited in certain contexts. We also explore how different audiences have received the quote and what criticisms or counterarguments have been raised. The key. This subtitle focuses on identifying the key message or themes of the quote. We explore the underlying principles or values that the quote embodies and consider how these ideas can be applied in different contexts. We also consider how the quote relates to other ideas or themes that are important to you. The application. This subtitle focuses on exploring how the quote can be applied to everyday life. We provide examples of how the quote can be used to inspire action or change and offer tips on how to implement the message in your daily life. We also consider how the quote relates to specific challenges or issues that you may be facing. The image. This subtitle focuses on exploring the metaphorical or symbolic meanings of the quote. We consider how the imagery or language used in the quote contributes to its overall message and what deeper meanings or insights can be gleaned from the language used. We also explore how the quote has been visually represented or interpreted in different contexts. The Potential Reversal This subtitle focuses on exploring how the message of the quote might be reversed or contradicted in certain contexts. We consider how the quote might be challenged by different cultural or social norms or how its message might need to be adapted to be relevant in different contexts. We also consider how the quote relates to different perspectives or worldviews and what insights can be gained from considering alternative viewpoints. The conclusion. The conclusion provides a sense of closure and helps to reinforce the importance of the quote. Make a difference by giving. We will introduce you to our link, where you can contribute to supporting the work we are doing. A message from Jefferson. Direct words from Jefferson to encourage, motivate and inspire you as we conclude this episode.
Today's episode. Start here with Jefferson presents you with quotes by Jefferson. We present quote number 320. The inspirational quotes by Jefferson O. N. B. Quote, your vocation is boring because you don't create the stimulation in it that will take you to the next level. Staying at the same level for too long will reduce you even further, and this can be depressing. Unquote. The source of today's quote. Today's inspirational quote from Starts Here with Quotes by Jefferson is taken from my book, Football and Life, The Game of Life. Football and Life, The Game of Life by Jefferson O. Inby offers a captivating exploration of the intersections between football and the challenges inherent in our daily lives. In the game of life, just like in football, everyone from spectators, coaches, match officials, vendors, journalists, security personnel, ball boys, and more is a participant. However, many are unaware of their participation and, consequently, expose themselves to failure by not understanding the rules of the game. Inby, a seasoned football enthusiast, masterfully translates the principles of the game into potent life lessons. Through compelling anecdotes and strategic insights, he takes readers on a journey of personal development, resilience, and goal attainment. This book transcends the boundaries of a typical sports narrative. It serves as a roadmap for success in the intricate game of life. Join me in unlocking the winning strategies within. Secure your copy of Football and Life, The Game of Life by Jefferson Owen B., available on Amazon. It's time to elevate your life game. Stop the video, scan the QR code, and acquire your copy today from Amazon. Embrace life as a game and take charge of your success journey. The Introduction The quote highlights the importance of injecting passion and creativity into your vocation to avoid stagnation and dissatisfaction. It suggests that by proactively seeking stimulation and growth opportunities, you can elevate your professional journey to new heights. This introduction sets the stage for exploring how to revitalize your vocation and reignite your sense of purpose. The Judgment While the quote emphasizes the role of personal initiative in finding fulfillment in one's vocation, some may argue that it overlooks external factors such as job constraints and limited opportunities for advancement. Additionally, critics may question the assumption that Boredom solely stems from a lack of individual effort rather than systemic issues within the workplace or broader social economic factors. The key. At its core, the quote underscores the transformative potential of proactive engagement and self-directed learning in one's vocation. It suggests that by actively seeking out challenges, pursuing new skills and embracing change, you can overcome stagnation and unlock new opportunities for growth and advancement. By taking ownership of your professional development, 
you can reshape your vocation into a source of inspiration and fulfillment. The application. In practical terms, the code encourages you to take a proactive approach to revitalizing your vocation. This may involve setting ambitious goals, seeking out mentorship and learning opportunities, or exploring new avenues for creativity and innovation within your field. By reframing challenges as opportunities for growth and embracing discomfort as a catalyst for change, you can reignite your passion for your vocation and chart a course towards tremendous success and satisfaction. The image. Metaphorically, the code paints a picture of vocation as a dynamic landscape where personal initiative serves as the key to unlocking its full potential. It suggests that, like a garden left untended, a stagnant vocation can wither and lose its vibrancy over time. However, by actively cultivating curiosity, ambition, and resilience, you can develop a fertile ground for growth and transformation, turning boredom into opportunity and stagnation into progress. The Potential Reversal While the quote highlights the importance of personal agency in revitalizing one's vocation, its message may be challenged by systemic barriers and external constraints beyond an individual's control. Factors such as job insecurity, limited access to resources and workplace culture may impede one's ability to create meaningful change within their vocation. Additionally, an overemphasis on individual responsibility may obscure the need for collective action and systemic reform to address broader issues of workplace dissatisfaction and inequality. The Conclusion In conclusion, the code serves as a call to action to take ownership of your vocation and actively pursue opportunities for growth and advancement. By embracing creativity, curiosity, and resilience, you can transform your vocation into a source of inspiration and fulfillment. So, dare to challenge the status quo, seek out new horizons, and infuse your professional journey with passion and purpose. Make a difference by giving. Embark on a journey of inspiration, knowledge, and empowerment with our trio of YouTube channels. The sure word for today, robust digital expert, and start here with Jefferson. Each video is meticulously crafted to uplift and inform, guiding you through life's challenges and unlocking your full potential. Now, you have the opportunity to fuel our mission and make a tangible difference. By supporting us with a coffee, you're not just keeping our content alive, you're empowering us to soar to new heights. Together, let's ignite change and inspire others to do the same. Join us today and become part of something extraordinary. The link to support us is in the description. Click now to make a meaningful impact. A message from Jefferson. We find ourselves in time where anger seems to ring unchecked, leading to senseless acts of violence over tribal matters. It's imperative to exercise caution, 
avoiding unnecessary confrontations that could escalate into dangerous situations. In such circumstances, it's crucial to prioritize safety over being right or wrong. The other person's irrationality, fueled by anxiety and anger, may pose a significant threat regardless of the validity of your stance. Sometimes, extending an apology, even when undeserved, could be the difference between life and death. Saying I'm sorry and moving forward is not a sign of weakness. Instead, it showcases inner strength and courage. By acknowledging a situation's potential danger and diffusing it with humility, you not only protect yourself but also demonstrate empathy and understanding. Your willingness to prioritize peace and safety over pride reflects the true strength of character serving as a beacon of hope and reason in a world often overshadowed by anger and hostility. Before we conclude, if you haven't already done so, please consider subscribing to our channel. I promise you will find uplifting and insightful content that nourishes your spirit and strengthens your feet.